Cumberland Historic Cemetery organization is here at Sumner Cemetery located on Yale Street in Cumberland, Maryland to unveil a monument for freed slave Critty Powell. Many members and family members have traveled uh, far and wide to arrive in Cumberland, Maryland today for this historic event. This cemetery was founded in 1884 as Allegheny County, Maryland's first all-black cemetery, and the Cumberland Historic Cemetery Organization uh, became affiliated with this site in 1990. In 1991, we unveiled Maryland's first monument to six black Union Civil War soldiers up on the hillside, and this is the site where we hold our annual Memorial Day service every year. Who is very important to Western Maryland history. Uh, she's been buried here for quite some time, and we are here today as members of the family to unveil a formal monument to Pretty Powell and her daughters and the other loved ones buried in this particular plot at Sumner Cemetery. I will turn the microphone over to uh, our chaplain. I have quite a few ancestors who were buried in unmarked graves and quite a number in graves unknown, like Moses in the Bible. So it is it is really renowned grave especially one where there's a marker, something to cherish. And it's good to see children here today to learn about uh, where they come from and, and who their ancestors are. I want to make mention of the fact that Pretty Powell was 90 years old when she died. And the fifth commandment uh, given by the Lord to Moses is honor thy father and thy mother. And when our Lord Jesus quoted that commandment, he added that that's the first commandment with the promise that you may live long in the land. And so it's remarkable that we're here to honor a woman who lived so long, who lived and experienced so much. So let us pray. Let's bow your head to Father, uh, that you all would travel and take the time and your expense to come. Uh, what families should do here in this country, honor their ancestors. Um, the Cumberland Historic Cemetery Organization was founded in 1983 for that as a main purpose. Uh, we have many functions we do throughout the year, but our main function is unveiling and erecting and restoring historical monuments to patriots of the United States of America. These patriots range in our country's great history and heritage from the American Revolution to current day. So far, we have over 900 designated and protected monuments. These are monuments that carry our corporate seal, which was designed by our late co-founder, Catherine Wolford, who was also a local artist. And it's a scene of a historic uh, monuments in St. Patrick's Cemetery in the north end of Cumberland with the famous Cumberland Narrows in the background. It's a famous geographic area that most people in this area recognize and realize. I know the mayor, uh, he has a load of things on his schedule today and he can only stay for a short time. So I'm gonna kind of bump people out of order and let him speak so we don't go too long and he can start up for the next occasion. Seriously, I, I, I really enjoy going to these events with Eugene and to a lot of events with Eugene because I love his book. He really has a way with words and says things, quite frankly, better than I can. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Ernie, if you've got this crowd here, I'm going to be talking to you. I need some crowd here. I'm going to be talking to you. Seriously, because this is important that you This is a important that you are honoring After that, if any family member uh, would like to mention any history or any uh, thing they would like to share with the ceremony, uh, certainly you can come up. Uh, I would advise you to come up around in front of the Thank you, Ed. Um, on behalf of the family of Pretty Pal, we'd like to thank the Historic Cemetery Organization of Common for selecting the matriarch of our family and one of our ancestors for being honored and celebrated today. Again, as I stand before you, I'm honored as a grandson to be on these sacred grounds. Like I said, my great-great-grandmother, Pretty Kyle, is buried there. My grandmother is buried right beside her. One of her daughters.
daughter, Bessie, right here. Her son, Edward Town, over to the right or to the left of us, was a Spanish-American hero, lost his leg during the war, buried over there. And one of her other daughters, so she has four of her children surrounding her, Lima Bullock. Um, it's almost impossible to include all the information just basically due to square and space. So, uh, you know, we would always like to have a lot more on it. This is a two-sided monument, and after the gentleman unveil it, I have a copy up here, and for like the folks in the back or down the hill that can't see the monument too well, I'm going to uh, read it aloud. Anyhow, gentlemen. This beautiful, intelligent African American woman served as her, as the foundation of her family and established a standard of excellence for generations to follow. Her daughters died in their forties. Grandma Pretty Powell helped raise her grandchildren. Pictured with her daughters are Lena Powell Bullet, Hattie Powell Cooper, and the pretty uh, Bessie Powell Lewis and Annie Powell Males. On the back panel of the monument. Uh, at the top, we have buried in this lot are uh, Annie Powell Males, uh, 1873 to 1915. Pretty Males, June 17, 1906 to March 4, 1931. Lawrence Males, February 4, 1912 to July 30, 1939. Bessie Powell Lewis died May 20, 1915. And Pretty with her appropriate dates. And